Hi everyone, today's tutorial is about FujiDAO, the first on-chain borrowing aggregator. I'll be honest, one of the things that attracted me to this project was their name and their logo. The name's pretty cool and the logo is great. They have really great graphic design. Mount Fuji, one of the most picturesque mountains in the world. Yes, I know, it's actually a volcano. But anyways, seemed really cool, so I thought I would check it out. Should also mention that currently this project has no token. That often means that there will be a token eventually and early users will be rewarded, but who knows? Let's just give it a try and see what it does. If you want to find out exactly what FujiDAO is and how it works, you can click on learn and it has all the details in the docs here. But the short story is it is an aggregator for lending platforms. So you probably know there's lending platforms like Aave, Compound and a bunch of others and they all have different rates and those rates change all the time. Where FujiDAO comes in is on their website, they list the best rates for borrowing stable coins at any given time. And then once you go into one of these pools via, let's call it a borrowing vault, via the FujiDAO app, if a better rate comes up later on a different platform, the whole pool will just be automatically moved over. There's also a bunch of other great things that FujiDAO does, ways that it can save you when you're borrowing, and you can find that in the learn section. To be honest, I've actually used this app before, but I thought I would go back and do a tutorial and show you what I did. So you go to the app, you open it, and you'll see on the dashboard, just give it a second to load, my computer is a bit slow. Well, first you'll see my actual current position that I was in before. Uh, you can ignore that for now, it's in the middle. I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you go over to the right side, you'll see right now the different borrowing APRs for stable coins. Currently, as you can see, you can borrow three different stable coins and you can also only use ETH as collateral currently on Fuji. But each one of those stable coins is being borrowed from a different platform. So those are the best rates that are available right now. So in the middle, you can see I borrowed DAI. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Go to the area that says borrow. It's pretty simple. There's only two buttons pretty much at the top and you'll see the borrow area. It's pretty straightforward. It says what you're gonna borrow and with what. Right now, you can only use ETH as I mentioned before. It says how it works in the top left-hand corner. If we click on the drop down menu, you'll see that you can borrow DAI, USDC or USDT all with ETH. And it's set by default to a thousand. You can change it to whatever you want. And it shows you calculated automatically how much ETH you'll have to supply to get that amount of DAI. On the right side, you'll see the health factor area. That is how healthy your boring position is, meaning how much risk there is of your position of being liquidated. So it's better to borrow only a small percentage in relation to your collateral because that means that there's much less risk of being liquidated. The TLDR is trying to have that gauge as green as possible. Right now it's kind of yellowy, it could be healthier, so I'm gonna put in some more collateral of ETH to make it more green. You reduce it, it becomes red, you increase it, it becomes more green. When you are ready, click on borrow and all the MetaMask stuff will pop up where you confirm the transaction. Now, the cost is pretty expensive, so I will not be carrying through with this for the tutorial. As you can see, I've already done this before, so I'll just show you my current position. But yeah, even though it seems pretty expensive, keep in mind that right now we're in ETH bull run, the network is pretty expensive, but it is cheaper than using other platforms directly like Aave and Compound because on those two platforms and all the other ones, the APR of borrowing is always changing. And if you want to change to a better rate, you have to withdraw your funds, pay for that, search for a better rate and a different platform, deposit them again, and then pay for that. All of that is really expensive. Now on Fuji, if a better rate comes up, as you can see right now, we're borrowing DAI using Compound. If a better rate comes up, Fuji will automatically move over the whole pool to that platform that has the better rate. Also, what's pretty cool is that your position gets a corresponding NFT and you'll find that in your account on Zapper or wherever you look at your NFTs. I will not be showing that so I don't dox my wallet. But anyways, let's talk about my position right now. You can see I used ETH to borrow DAI. I borrowed $500 worth of DAI using 0.7 ETH as collateral. You can see it has a high health factor. If you don't want to do the math, you can see it's in the green. Green is good. And yeah, there's that button on the right side that says manage. You can add collateral, take away collateral. You can also pay off your loan, whatever you want to do. Anyways, it's a great platform, great graphic design, cool concept, and uh, yeah, overall, I like it. Should also mention that currently they are awaiting the results of their first audit. So it is an unaudited platform. Be careful, proceed with caution. Don't put your life savings into it. And that's pretty much it. So do your own research, check it out. And thanks for watching this tutorial.